Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of That Christian Vlogger, where you get to come and join me and Emily and experience faith in the first person. Summer's almost over, we have two weeks left, so we decided to come to the Northwest where Emily's from, and we're gonna hang out and have some good times out here. Babe, There's you remember? Cow. <laughs> There's a cow. There's a cow over there. <laughs> you remember the last time we were out here? Yeah, well, together. How long ago was that? May 3, 2015. And what was happening? Our wedding. Oh, that's so yeah. nice. Uh, last time we were out here, uh, basically, there was like a hundred of our family and friends out here, and it was like the day it was the day that we got married. So um, it's been quite some time since we've been out here, but it's definitely nice to see kind of the familiar spots. We're in Battleground right now, and we are going to be driving into Portland because when you're in Portland, there are two things you have to visit. We are at Stump Town Coffee, which is easily the best coffee in the world. So if you're ever in Portland, you gotta check them out. Step number one, just got our coffee done. Stumptown, definitely recommended. I like the vanilla lattes, they're amazing. And the second thing that we're gonna go do is we're gonna go grab some donuts. Now, if you've ever been to Portland, one of the major well-known places is this place called Voodoo Donuts. Don't be tempted, it's just hype. It's not really that good. We're gonna show you guys where the best donuts are. Emily's not letting us eat our donuts because she needs to get the Instagram first. So, Emily, what's your, what's your Instagram account so everyone can follow you? Um, Emily Koo, all one word. Emily Koo, there you go, check it out. Gotta get good lighting. <laughs> what? Alright, so which one you got? I got the OG, the... Horchata. Horchata. So I got the Mexican hot chocolate. Mexican hot chocolate? Mm -hmm. Damn, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. So what do you think, babe? Better than uh, Voodoo Donuts? Times better. It's not that we're haters of Voodoo Donuts, it's just that Voodoo Donuts is more of like a gimmicky, very presentation oriented type of thing. The way that I like to put it is if you want to get like a really good Instagram, then you definitely want to go to Voodoo Donuts. But if you want donuts that taste good, you gotta come here. They are amazing. My favorite one is the horchata uh, donut, which is like based off the Mexican drink. It's awesome. <laughs> So a couple of months ago, actually it was a couple of years ago, I read this book called, I think it's Dinner with a Perfect Stranger. And it's this fictitious story where this guy basically gets invited to dinner with Jesus. And we're having coffee, we're having donuts. And so a question I thought I'd ask uh, Emily and Mario and myself is, if you could have like say coffee and donuts with Jesus, what is one question that you would ask him? Oh, okay. Babe, what, what, what question would you ask Jesus? Why can't I eat donuts like every day and not die of a heart attack? <laughs> <laughs> That's the one that you would ask him. Yeah, no, I'm All just the kidding. questions you could ask. <laughs> just kidding. Uh, stop it. You can just put that one as a joke. <laughs> those are the bloopers I don't you know want, Those are the bloopers you want to keep. <laughs> you little fat bit. <laughs> you ask me like, what would be your favorite ice cream? Like, it's so hard. So many questions you can ask. Can you relate it to what's your favorite ice cream? <laughs> <laughs> it's always like someone, when someone asks you, or like when someone asks you like, what's your favorite movie? Like, I'm thinking of so many things. Um, I would ask him, what was it like living as a human on Earth for 31 years? That's how long he was here. Um, because Try again. 32 years? Thir Try again. 33 years. There it is. Um, because all of the accounts in the Gospels are um, secondhand experiences. It wasn't his experience. So I'd like to know from his perspective what it was like, you know, being tempted, um, healing people, just his experience on this Earth. So a question I think I'd ask Jesus would be. If you were here today, if you were here right now, I would ask him, in the sense of evangelism, or like trying to, to, to share Christ with everyone, are we, are we doing it right? Like, are, are, in the sense of how we do things, 
are we doing it right? Have we missed the mark completely? But pretty much asking like, hey, how would you do it? You did it back then, but our society is different. How, how would you do it in, in our world now? What would I ask Jesus? You know, a little bit of the behind the scenes, like we actually had to each think for a few minutes of what we would ask. Because honestly, that's a really difficult question. I don't know about you. Maybe you have like a question that you would ask right away. You already know what it is. But I actually honestly don't know. I don't, I don't even think that I would necessarily have a question to ask Jesus as much as I would just want to like hang out with him and get to know him better. And that's kind of what happens in like in, in the book, uh, Dinner with a Perfect Stranger or whatever the case is. I don't know, for me, I don't, I don't think there's a specific thing. I just want to like, just I think hanging out with Jesus, doing coffee and donuts with Jesus would be an awesome experience. But what about you guys? If you could ask Jesus, you could ask God any question, what's the question that you would ask? Let me know in the comment section below. You want to say what I said? Yeah. Honestly, man, just just listening to him talk, I think would be enough. It's like, you know, it's like when you when you find someone that's super wise, you just like, <laughs> I think that honestly, yeah, yeah. like I wouldn't even want to ask him questions. I like, just talk, like for mm -hmm. sure, for sure, just listen okay. and just listen. Yeah, yeah, awesome. for sure. No, honestly, like what, what Mario just said, that, I think that's exactly what what I what I was trying to say. It's just like you're you're sitting in the presence of like this amazing speaker, this amazing teacher, this amazing like wise person, like God Himself, and it's just like, why would I even want to talk in that moment? The best thing that I could do is listen. If you guys end up coming, make sure you come early because there's a line that's starting up now. Just made it back at the house after uh, a long day. There was a lot that happened today. Uh, myself and some of the other guys. Here's the other guys. There's Mario and uh, Emily's dad, Jim. Um, we ended up going jet skiing out on the river, which is a lot of fun. I obviously didn't vlog because I don't have a waterproof camera. But uh, it got really intense because the jet skis ended up breaking down and we were out after dark and it was just like this whole long ordeal. So I'm going to end the video here, um, but I still want to hear you guys' thoughts on what, we, what uh, Mario and I were talking about earlier today and uh, see what you guys were thinking about. If you were to hang out with Jesus, to do coffee and donuts with Jesus, what is a question that you would ask him? Let me know in the comment section below and I'll see you guys uh, in the next video. Until next time, I'm That Christian Vlogger, and I want to encourage you to experience faith in the first person. God bless, and good night. So it's the day after I recorded that vlog, and we were back at the Marine trying to pick up uh, the jet ski that I was telling you about. Let me show you guys what ended up happening with the jet ski. <laughs> it looks like a Shamu's coming out of the water. Evidently there was a clear leak and so we're gonna just try and get this fixed, but uh, Anyways, I thought you guys would enjoy this. I thought it was kind of funny Even with this little predicament look how beautiful this water is Hey Jim, so what do you think the odds are of this working out good for you? I don't know <laughs> You think we're gonna make it? I think so. All right not goose it, it's going over. Ah, well, maybe it's all right. Go fast now. Maybe it'll pull it up on top. See what I'm talking about? Go, keep going. You're good, you're good. second evolution in this thing we got uh, one of the jet skis working again I'm out here on the water obviously and uh, I'm not going anywhere because uh, it basically just died so trying to figure out what exactly to do next I was able to eventually make it back to shore got both the jet skis tied up to the mast turns out uh, there were some people who were uh, driving their boat by and were able to tow me back to land so everything's a-okay obviously because you're watching this video and I'm not dead uh, but what an adventure. Goodness gracious. Okay, so I just was watching those last clips. I realized the storyline wasn't all that clear. So yesterday I was out on the jet skis with Mario. Uh, both of them ended up dying. Fixed one of them in the middle of the water. The second one we couldn't fix up. So we got it all the way to, the, to that dock where we uh, tied them over for the night. Today we went back and that's when the, one, the, the broken one was like totally nose up. Try to fix it, wouldn't get fixed. So I decided to get the second one, that the one that works, 
and take it to the dock so we can put it back uh, on, on the back of the car and take it back home. Halfway through, as I'm driving back, that's when the second one, the good one, dies. <laughs> and then I have to catch a ride from another boat, sounding the horn and everything else like that to make it all the way back to where we started. So, you know, it's, it's uh, what is it, three, it's about three hours later and zero was accomplished except for breaking the second jet ski. <laughs> and so we're going back home, we're feeling a little defeated, but uh, it was a good story. What do you, how do you feel about it, Jim? Well, at least we're on dry land. <laughs> we are on dry land, so I think he's gonna have to go and figure out how to get both of those jet skis back. But, uh, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I sure had uh, an adventure at least. We'll talk to you guys later.